morning, darlings. I know I'm a bit shiny. I've just put some um, serum on, so excuse the shiny face. But I am up. It is around about 11.30 and I am ready to go. Oh, here he is. Hello, boy. <laughs> he can't help it. You want to say hello? Um, I'm going to go for a workout with Roland. Um, I had a day off yesterday. I don't feel terrible today. I am um, hungry, but I can't break my fast yet. So I'm going to do a workout and then I'm going to eat, 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 eat. Have a good one. How does it feel? It's pretty tough, huh? <laughs> Blow kiss, fire a gun, we need someone to lean on. Blow kiss, fire a gun, no, we needed somebody to lean on. Pre-workout juice, one whole orange, two carrots, about an inch long piece of ginger, and a big handful of spinach. Three of my five a day in one drink. Bottoms up. Cheers. Good evening, darlings. I hope you're all having a fabulous week so far. Tonight, I am going to cook something that I absolutely adore. Um, it's a healthy chicken korma and I love a curry and when you're dieting curry is normally completely off limits especially a korma but I think it was a couple of years ago I watched the hairy dieters and or the hairy bikers and they did a series called the hairy dieters and they cooked this chicken korma and it looked absolutely delicious and I tried it and it really was, it, it was genuinely restaurant quality, takeaway amazingness. And so I wanted to make it for you guys, show you how easy it is to make your own Saturday night takeaway treat, but low calorie. So here we go. So heat a tablespoon of oil in a pan. I'm gonna chop up one white onion. Add this in the pan. Two cloves of garlic. And a little bit of ginger. You see that size? Yeah. Actually, cut that out a little bit. Finely chopped. As fine as you can get it. Give it a stir. I'm going to let that soften for about five minutes, maybe? Yeah, about five minutes. Then in my pestle and mortar, I'm going to make the spices. So you need 12 cardamom pods. Come in a pack like this. Give them a little crush. Half a tablespoon of cumin seeds. Half a tablespoon of ground coriander. Yummy. Half 
half a tablespoon of turmeric. half a tablespoon or to your tasting of hot chili powder. Bit more for luck. And then add that to the onion mix. And now put the bay leaf in. Give it a good stir. Then you need two whole cloves. And you like, they're like this, and you pinch the end off and just take the little round ball and put one in and keep the stalks. So pinch the ball and put one in. So two of those, give it a stir. And let that cook for about three, three or four minutes. The recipe calls for a tablespoon of flour. Obviously I try and be gluten free where I can because I'm intolerant. So I'm just gonna put in a tablespoon of gluten-free plain white flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. I bought some new salt. Look, I've got a full pack. Yay. It's very exciting. Oh, I need to open it first, that might help, mind it? So a little bit of salt, whoops, way too much, thank goodness. I measured it out. Stir, 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 stir. This recipe calls for some sugar, and for once I'm gonna use it, but it's just gonna be a very small amount in. You don't need a lot. The secret ingredient here is saffron, which is, as everybody may know, more expensive than gold. Um, this tiny little pack cost me about six pounds. So I really like to use it sparingly, sparingly, sparingly. Um, if I can open the damn thing. How the bloody hell do you open it? And you just want a tiny little pinch. If I can get it out. A teeny, teeny, tiny pinch of saffron. If you are on a budget, don't have any saffron or can't get hold of it, do not worry. Then we add about 150 mils of cold water. A little bit at a time. Give it a little stir. Stir it up. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Once that is all mixed nicely, you want to cover and leave it on a low heat for about seven minutes, just to really get those flavors going. So I'll see you then. That is smelling divine. Now what you wanna do is try and fish out the bay leaf, if you can find it. to a Nutribullet or blender of sorts. The mixture is very, very hot, so please be careful. Mm -hmm. 
you want the sauce to be as smooth as possible. Really good. Really good. Earlier on, I put some chicken in the fridge, chilling, with some Nature Valley. Oh no, Ye Yeo Valley? Yeo Valley? Family Farm natural yogurt and now I'm gonna sieve this out because you just want a really light coating of yogurt on the chicken. I like to use the same pan to put the chicken so it's still got all the yummy flavours inside. I'm gonna put a bit of olive oil just to loosen it up. Then we're going to add our chicken, brown the chicken, add the sauce, the rice I've just put on as well. This is going to be so delicious! Actually, you just need the outsides of the chicken done, so you could probably like in two or three minutes get it done. Then we re-add the delicious korma sauce. Oh my goodness. Every last bit of sauce. Get it in there. Come on now. Oh yeah. Now this isn't the naughty part, but you're allowed to have three tablespoons of double cream to it to give it that real korma taste but it's still going to end up being low calorie this is amazing so here we go oh so here we go one two and three tablespoons <clears throat> in there like swimwear. Give it a stir. Oh my goodness! Oh! <laughs> oh guys. Oh darlings. This is making me so happy. It literally looks like a chicken korma, surprisingly enough. So we're just gonna cook that on a low heat. I'm gonna cover it again, just for about 10 minutes. You want the chicken cooked all the way through. I cut my chicken up quite small to quite small pieces, but obviously do check your chicken. It has to be cooked all the way through. We cannot have any food poisoning issues, people. Please don't do that to me. So yeah, check your chicken, make sure it's cooked. And then by that time the rice will be cooked and then we eat. And here it is, my famous chicken korma. Well, not my famous, the Hairy Dieter's famous chicken korma. Put some veg on it to try and be extra healthy. But all of this yumminess for under 400 calories. Win-win. <laughs>